today lecture is on uh, introduction about rational numbers and their addition so before defining rational numbers let us see number systems in a number system first there is a set of natural numbers the set of natural numbers begins with 1 2 3 4 and so on up to infinity right so this is a set of natural numbers then set of whole numbers set of whole numbers so in this set of natural numbers if we add here zero if we add there zero so it will become a set of whole number zero one two three four five and so on is that clear this is set of whole number now in the set of whole number in this set of whole number if we add okay now set of natural number is suppose denoted by n and set of whole number suppose denoted by w okay so w is the set of whole numbers right now in this set of whole numbers if we add the negative of set of whole numbers w plus minus n is it clear so it will become set of integers so look at here minus 5 minus 4 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3 4 5 that that is up to infinity so look at here here these are negative of the natural numbers and this is what a whole number is that clear and therefore whole number plus negative of natural number is the set of integers then rational numbers so rational number is what it is a fraction of the form p by q where p and q are integers such that q not equal to 0 is that clear it is called a rational rational number then let us discuss some examples so p by q now this is a actually fraction which is also called as the rational number now what is this p called what is this p and what is this q p is called a numerator and q is called a, a denominator is that clear and denominator must not be equal to 0 if it is 0 then p divided by 0 will become infinity because any number any non zero non zero number cannot be divided by a zero is that clear and therefore q not equal to zero now if p by q is a rational number then p by q is equal to p into m upon q into m okay so we can multiply numerator and a denominator by same number into m and into y so finally what will happen in division these two will get cancelled and only the given ratio given fraction will left now if p by q is a rational number then p by q is equal to p into m 
इंस्टेड ऑफ पी इंटू एम पी डिवाइडेड बाय एम अपॉन क्यू डिवाइडेड बाय एम ओके सो हियर आल्सो सो लुक एट हियर हियर इज दिस एम मल्टीप्लाइंग बाय एम टू न्यूमरेटर एंड डिनोमिनेटर डिवाइडिंग बाय एम टू न्यूमरेटर एंड डिनोमिनेटर देन If we divide numerator and denominator, or if we multiply numerator and denominator by same number, the rational number will not change. Okay, it will remain same. Now let us see. P by Q is the lowest form of rational number if P and Q have no common factor. Then one. Is that clear? So this is the lowest form of rational number how to reduce the rational number to lowest form how to reduce a rational number to lowest form so what we have to find we have to identify the common factor from numerator and denominator both and get it cancelled so for example 16 by 28 so you know 16 can be written as 4 by 4 And twenty-eight also written as seven by four means four is the common factor in numerator and denominator. So look at here four by four, seven by four, and now these four four get cancelled. So you will get four by seven. Is that clear? So sixteen by eighteen, which is a rational number, because of removal of the common Factor, we get equivalent rational number four by seven, and that is reduced form. Okay, another example you can learn. Minus fifteen is five minus five into three. Twenty one is seven into three. Minus three is a common factor. Is that clear? And now we can cancel these three. Then cancel these three. So what is left? Minus five by seven. Is that clear? So it is a reduced, reduced rational number or lowest form of the rational number. Now what is the standard form of a rational number? So the reduced or the lowest form of the rational number is called as a standard form of rational numbers. If q is Greater than zero. That is in p by q. In p by q, if p and q have no common factor, then one and q is a greater than zero. Denominator must be positive. Okay, then this kind of rational number is called as standard rational number. When two rational numbers are equal, p by q and r by s are equal, okay. So it is very simple. The two rational numbers p by q and r by s are equal if the product of numerator of first rational number and denominator of second rational number equal to the product of denominator of first rational number and uh, Numerator of second rational number. If this is same, okay, is that clear? So, for example, minus seven by fourteen and four by minus eight. We have to verify whether what is the relation between them. So, look at here. Minus seven into minus eight. Minus seven into minus eight is fifty-six, and four into four. Is a fifty-six. So we have here minus seven into minus eight, and therefore fifty-six. Since the product is same, these numbers, uh, rational numbers, are same. Is that clear? Then let us see another example. Write five rational numbers. Okay. So we can write any rational numbers. For example. Three by eight minus two by nine minus five by minus two seven by minus fifteen six by eleven. You can write even one by two, five by six, 
थ्री बाई टू एंड सो ओके सो यू आर टू राइट एनी नंबर इन दी फॉर्म ऑफ पी बाय क्यू इज कॉल्ड रैशनल नंबर वेर पी एंड क्यू आर इंटीजर्स इज दैट क्लियर नाउ राइट पॉजिटिव एंड ए निगेटिव रैशनल नंबर नाउ लुक एट हियर हियर वी आर लिस्टेड द रैशनल नंबर विच आर द पॉजिटिव थ्री बाय एट माइनस फाइव बाय माइनस टू एंड माइनस माइनस विल गेट कैंसल सो फाइव बाय टू एंड सिक्स बाय इलेवन दीज आर दी पॉजिटिव रैशनल नंबर्स एंड वॉट आर द निगेटिव रैशनल नंबर्स माइनस टू बाय नाइन एंड सेवन बाय माइनस फिफ्टीन दीज आर निगेटिव रैशनल नंबर सो वी कैन लिस्ट आउट दीज सेम ओके सो वॉट दीज आर पॉजिटिव रैशनल नंबर्स एंड दीज आर निगेटिव रैशनल नंबर्स देन राइट लोएस्ट फॉर्म ऑफ रैशनल नंबर थर्टी सिक्स बाय ट्वेंटी फोर सो थर्टी सिक्स बाय ट्वेंटी फोर नाउ वट इज द कॉमन फैक्टर इन थर्टी सिक्स एंड ट्वेंटी फोर सिक्स इंटू सिक्स थर्टी सिक्स एंड सिक्स इंटू फोर ट्वेंटी फोर ओके सो सिक्स इज द कॉमन फैक्टर सो वी कैन राइट ओके ट्वेल्व इज ऑल्सो कॉमन फैक्टर इज दैट क्लियर ट्वेल्व इंटू थ्री एंड ट्वेल्व इंटू टू एंड दिस ट्वेल्व नाउ गेट कैंसल इफ यू टेक सिक्स इंटू सिक्स एंड सिक्स इंटू फोर तो यू गेट सिक्स बाय फोर अगेन इट विल रिड्यूस टू थ्री बाय टू दैट इज सेम थिंग ओके सो वट इज लेफ्ट हियर थ्री बाय टू एंड दैट इज द लोएस्ट फॉर्म ऑफ रैशनल नंबर Is that clear? Next, are the rational numbers seven by minus twenty one minus three by nine equal? What is the answer? Do cross multiplication. Seven into nine. Sixty three. And minus twenty one into minus three is also sixty three. Okay, and therefore what will get? Therefore, minus seven by twenty-one is equal to minus three by nine. They are equal. Is that clear? Then addition of rational numbers. Okay, so for addition of rational number, while adding the two rational numbers of the form p by q and c by d, there may be two conditions. The condition one is a very easy that the denominator of both rational number may be same or equal. Okay, and another condition is what denominator of both rational number may not be equal. Okay, so let us see the first condition: rational numbers with same denominator. So add three by five and thirteen by five. So it would be equal to three by five plus thirteen by five. If The denominator is the same. Then what to do? Then add add numerator. Add numerator. So you'll get it is equal to three plus thirteen by five. Okay, and three plus thirteen is sixteen by five. That is the answer. This is the Answer is that clear? Now similarly, add minus five by nineteen, minus five by nine, and minus seventeen by nine. Is that clear? So this is equal to minus five by nine plus minus seventeen by nine. Again here the denominator is nine, that is same. And therefore, what we do? Add numerator here. Add numerator. So Numerator addition is minus five plus minus seventeen divided by nine. Minus five plus minus seventeen is what? Minus five minus seventeen divided by nine. That is minus twenty two by nine. And that is again the answer. Is that clear? Then another one more example. Add four by eleven and seven by minus eleven. So we can write like this: four by eleven 
प्लस सेवन बाय माइनस इलेवन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल डिनोमिनेटर वन डिनोमिनेटर इज इलेवन एंड अदर डिनोमिनेटर इज माइनस इलेवन तो वी हैव टू रिमूव दैट माइनस साइन फ्रॉम द डिनोमिनेटर तो सेवन बाय माइनस इलेवन कैन बी रिटर्न एज माइनस सेवन बाय इलेवन सो यू विल गेट फोर बाय इलेवन प्लस माइनस सेवन बाय इलेवन नाउ हियर इज डिनोमिनेटर सेम एंड सो वी कैन राइट अगेन लुक एट हियर एडिंग न्यूमरेटर ओके सो यू विल गेट फोर प्लस माइनस सेवन बाय इलेवन एंड फोर दैट इज फोर माइनस सेवन बाय इलेवन दैट इज माइनस थ्री बाय इलेवन एंड दिस इज द answer so that clear then a uh, rational numbers with different denominator so let us see the example 5 by 12 and 3 by 8 so it would be equal to 5 by 12 plus 3 by 8 okay now one denominator is 12 and second denominator is 8 it is not same and therefore we find lcm of 12 and 9 Sorry, twelve and eight. So we find out least common multiple of these two numbers to twelve and eight. So least common multiple of twelve and eight is how much? Twenty-four because twenty-four is divisible by twelve as well as it is divisible by eight. Okay, this twenty-four can be divided by twelve. And can be divided by eight, and it is the least common, least common multiple. Okay, and therefore, what we write, it is equal to. Okay, so we write here LCM is twenty four. Now twenty four divided by twelve, it is two, and therefore five multiplied by two. This is two. Twenty four divided by twelve is two. Plus three. This is three into twenty-four divided by eight. Okay, and that is equal to three. So this is three. Is that clear? Now five into two is ten. Plus three into three is nine. Is that clear? So we have ten plus nine is nineteen. That is equal to nineteen by twenty-four. This is the final answer. This is final answer. Another example: seven by nine and four. Which can be written as seven by nine plus four. It means four by one. Again, here denominator is different. Nine and one. What is the LCM of nine and one? Nine. Okay, nine is divided divisible by nine, and it is also divisible by one. So LCM of nine and one is nine. Therefore, you will get. Look at here. If we divide this nine by nine, so it is one. So this is one seven into one, plus nine by one is a nine. Okay, and therefore four into this four into nine. Okay, so it is equal to seven into one is seven plus four into nine is thirty six. So seven plus forty six by nine. Is that clear? Seven plus thirty six by nine, and that is equal to forty three by nine is the answer of this addition. Then one more addition: three by eight and minus five by twelve. So we can write three by eight plus minus five by twelve. Okay. So here we can write LCM is eight and twelve, twenty-four. Okay, because twenty-four is divisible by twelve as well as eight, and that is the least number. Okay. So it is twenty-four. So what will get? We can write this divided by twenty-four. Is that clear? So you get eight by twenty-four by eight is three. Three into three, I got plus twenty-four by twelve is two minus five into two. So you get three into three plus minus five into two upon twenty-four. 
सो थ्री इंटू थ्री इज नाइन प्लस माइनस फाइव इंटू टू इज माइनस टेन सो नाइन माइनस टेन डिवाइडेड बाय ट्वेंटी फोर दैट इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन बाय ट्वेंटी फोर सो डिड यू अंडरस्टैंड फर्स्ट केस वी हर सीन द एडिशन ऑफ रैशनल नंबर विथ सेम डिनोमिनेटर एंड दिस नाउ वी हर सीन एडिशन ऑफ रैशनल नंबर विथ डिफरेंट डिनोमिनेटर्स now properties of addition of rational numbers the first property is closer property closer means what the addition of two rational number is again a rational number is that clear for example a by b plus c by d is a rational number okay let us prove this with the help of example so example is this Now to do the addition, denominator is different. So what is the LCM of four and three? Twelve. So you will get right. So it is equal to twelve divided by four. Twelve divided by four. It is three, and so it is one into three. Okay. Similarly, twelve divided by three. So it is four. And therefore minus two into four, so it is equal to three into one is three minus two into four is minus eight divided by twelve. And three minus eight is minus five by twelve, and this is the answer. That's it. Now is it a rational number? It is in the form of p by q, so it is a rational number. One more example we can see: three by eight plus two by sixteen. Is that clear? So LCM is equal to sixteen. Eight and uh, eight and sixteen are different numbers. So sixteen is the number which is divisible by sixteen as well as eight, and therefore LCM is equal to sixteen. So you will get here sixteen divided by eight is two, and therefore it is three into two. This is three. Okay. Similarly, sixteen divided by sixteen is one, so it is two into one. This is two into one. So final answer is three into two six. Two into one is two. Six plus two by sixteen. That is eight by sixteen. That is one by two because we know here this eight is divisible by four. Four to the eight and four four to the Sorry, eight one day eight, eight one day eight, and eight two day sixteen. Is that clear? And therefore, answer is one by two. And look at here, one by two is also rational number. Then commutative property: the addition of rational number is same, irrespective of the order. You can add p by q plus c by two, c by d. Or you can add c by d plus a by b. The answer will be same. Okay. So look at here a by b plus c by d equal to c by d plus a by b. For example, this one. Okay. Minus three by four plus five by six. Is that clear? So LCM is twelve. Four and six. Here yeah, four and six are yeah. common least common multiple twelve, and therefore you get twelve. If we divide twelve by four, it is three. So minus three into three. If we divide this twelve by six, it is two. So five into two. So you will get here minus three into three plus five into two upon twelve. Minus three into three is minus nine plus ten. This is minus nine. And this is ten, okay. And so it is equal to minus nine plus ten is one. One by twelve. Now let change the order. So let us see five by six plus minus three by four. Okay. Again, what is the LCM of six and four? Twelve. Okay. So twelve divided by six is two. Five into two. Twelve divided by four is three. Minus three into three. So you will get. Is that clear? Now five into two is ten. Minus three into three is nine. Okay, minus nine. 
divided by 12. So you will get 10 minus 9 divided by 12 and it is equal to 1 by 12. They are same and therefore this is same. Okay, and therefore this result is equal. Is that clear? Similarly, associative property. If A by B, C by D, E by F are three rational numbers, then A by B plus in bracket C by D plus E by F is equal to in bracket A by B plus C by D plus E by F. So look at here. Here first, here first these two terms are in bracket and here these two terms are in bracket. Okay, so let us see the example. We verify this property with the help of example. Minus 3 by 4, first we put this in bracket first time and second time we put this in bracket. Okay, so let us prove whether their result is same or not. So minus 3 by 4 plus 5 by 6 plus minus 4 by 9. This is in bracket. So what is the LCM of 6 and 9? Thirty-six. So you will get okay. So here both the properties are written. Here this is the grouping. And here this is the group. Okay. And we find out the value of this both term. So here LCM is 36. So you will get 36 LCM. 36. So you will get. Okay. 18 is the LCM. Eighteen is LCM. Is that clear? So here, eighteen divided by six is three. And five into three. Plus eighteen divided by nine is two. Plus minus four into two. This is minus four. This is five. Is that clear? So 18. Now 5 into 3 is 15. Minus 4 into 8 is minus 8. 15 minus 8 is 7. So it, this final answer would be 7 by 18. Is that clear? Now what is the LCM of 4 and 18? Thirty-six. Is that clear? So, 36 is divisible by 18 and it is also divisible by 4. So, 4, 36 divided by 4 is 9. So, minus 3 into 9. Okay. Plus 36 by 18, 2. So, 2 into 7. So, minus 3 into 9 is minus 27 plus 14. 7 into 2, 14, minus 27 plus 14 is by 36 and that is equal to minus 13 by 36. This is the answer of left hand side. Okay. Now let us evaluate right hand side. Here LCM is 12. Okay. So you will get LCM is 12. So you will get, is that clear? 12 divided by 4 is 3. So this is minus 3. Plus 12 divided by 6 is 2. So this is 2. And this is 5. 5 into 2. Plus minus 4 by 9 as it is. So it is minus 3 into 3 is minus 9. Plus 5 into 2 is 10. So minus 9 plus 10 is 1. So 1 by 12. plus minus 4 by 9. Okay. Now what is the LCM here? 12 and 9. The LCM of 
least common multiple of 12 and 9 is 36 36 so 36 divided by 12 is 3 so 1 into 3 plus 36 divided by 9 is 4 minus 4 into 4 so you will get this 1 into 3 is 3 minus 4 into 4 is 16 3 minus 16 is minus 13 divided by 36 okay and now look at here this equal to this this is what equal and therefore this is equal therefore this is equal is that clear so that is hence associative property is true then examples the first example simplify minus 3 by 10 plus 7 by 15 plus 3 by minus 20 plus minus 9 by 20 plus 13 by 15 plus 13 by minus 20. So let us group here the rational numbers with equal or same denominator. So look at here the denominator this first rational number and fourth rational number are same denominator. Then second rational number and fifth rational number are with same denominator. Third rational number and six rational number are with the same denominator. So we can group like this. So we have this. Then second seven by 15, 13 by 15. Then three by minus 20 is equal to minus three by 20 and 13 by minus 20 is minus 13 by 20. Is that clear? Now we add these two, then these two then this two for adding these two denominator is same therefore we add numerator here also we add denominator numerator and here also we add numerator so you will get minus 3 plus minus 9 here 7 plus 13 here minus 3 plus minus 13 divided by 10 15 and 20 respectively is that clear then 7 plus 13 by 15 then minus 3 minus 13 by 20 okay now minus 3 minus 9 is minus 12 by 10 plus 20 by 15 plus minus 16 by 20 now look at here we reduce this to the smallest rational number to so look at here 2 6 i 12 and 2 5 i 10 here 5 4 i 20 and here 5 3 i 20 here 4 4 i 16 and here 4 5 i 20 okay so what do we have minus 6 by 5 Plus 4 by 3 minus 4 by 5. Now, what is the LCM of these uh, three numbers? 5, 3, and 5 is 15. Okay, 15 is the LCM. So, 15 divided by 5 is 3 minus 6 into 3 plus 15 divided by 3 is 5, 4 into 5 plus 15 divided by 5 is 3 minus 4 into 3. Okay. So minus 6 into 3 minus 18 plus 20 minus 12. So we have so minus 18 plus 20 is plus 2 minus 12 is minus 10. So it is minus 10 by 15. And now look at here minus 10 is divisible by 5. So 5 to the 10. 5 3 by 15 so final answer is minus 2 by 3 is the final answer is that clear this is the answer 
then another example 1 by 8 plus 5 by 12 plus 2 by 7 plus 7 by 12 plus 9 by 7 plus minus 5 by 16 here look the denominator 7 equal to 7 The denominator twelve equal to twelve. Denominator eight not equal to sixteen, but sixteen is the multiple of eight. So we can group this with one by up sixteen. Okay, so we can rearrange this term like this. Okay, then seven by twelve, then two by seven plus nine by seven. The this term. Has same denominator, so there is addition of numerator five plus seven twelve. Here also same denominator, the addition of numerator two plus nine eleven. But here we have to find LCM, and what is the LCM of eight and sixteen? Is a sixteen. So sixteen divided by eight is two, so one into two plus sixteen divided by sixteen is one, so minus five into one. So we have okay and. Last two terms, simple numerator addition. Okay, so here is one into two is two minus five. It is twelve by twelve. It is eleven by seven. Two minus five is minus three by sixteen plus one by one because this twelve. Uh, twelve get cancelled. And plus eleven by seven. Now, what is the LCM of these three numbers? We have to find the LCM of sixteen, one, and seven. So it is one one two. Is that clear? So LCM is one one two. Okay. So One one two. If we divide by sixteen to one one two, we have seven. So minus three into seven. One one two by one is one one two. So one into one one two. And then one one two divided by seven. That is sixteen. And multiplied by eleven. Okay. So minus three into seven is minus twenty one. This is plus one one two plus eleven into sixteen is one hundred seventy six. Okay, so you will get divided by one one two. Okay, so what is the final addition? One one two plus one seven six minus twenty one is two six seven by one one two. This is final answer. Then what is the Additive identity, the additive identity. You know, if we add zero to any uh, rational number, the same rational number you will get. So, for example, one by eight plus zero is one by eight, or zero plus one by eight is one by eight, and therefore zero is called additive identity. Is that clear? What is the negative of the rational number a by b? So negative of rational number a by b is what minus of a by b. Is that clear? And therefore you will get negative of a by b is equal to minus a by b. This one, which can be written as minus a by b, or it can be written as a by minus b. Either this, or this, or this. They are the negative of a by b. What is the additive inverse of rational number? Additive inverse of a by b is what? Minus a. Why they are called as additive inverse? Because if you add them, the addition is zero. Okay. Additive inverse of minus a by b is a by b. Okay. So why they are additive inverse? Because If we add them, so answer is equal to zero. Here also, if we add them, the answer equal to zero. 
and therefore these two are called as additive inverse of each other additive inverse of each other so that clear then if c by d is the additive inverse of a by b then their addition must be equal to zero is that clear now what is the additive inverse of zero of course zero because zero plus zero is zero so it is a zero okay then match the following column a are the questions and column b will contain the answers so column a the additive inverse of 4 by 9 first question the additive inverse of minus 13 by 7 the additive inverse of minus 11 by 14 the additive inverse of y uh, by minus 11 the additive inverse of 0 okay and the answers are given here column b first answer 5 by 11 second answer 11 by minus 14 third answer 13 by 7 fourth minus 4 by 9 fifth 11 by 14 and sixth 0 Okay, so what is the additive inverse of four by nine? Additive inverse of four by nine is what we have seen in the last slide. That is what minus four by nine, minus four by nine. So this answer is a minus four by nine. Is that clear? And then what is the additive inverse of minus thirteen by seven? It is negative rational number, so its additive inverse is what thirteen by seven. So where is thirteen by seven? Thirteen by seven. The additive inverse of minus eleven by minus fourteen. Look at here. This minus minus sign it cancel actually. Okay, and therefore it is a positive rational number, and therefore its additive inverse is minus eleven by fourteen, or eleven by minus fourteen. Okay, so where where it is? Eleven by minus fourteen. Okay, so the additive inverse of five by minus eleven it is a negative rational number, so this addition is. I added to inverse is positive rational number, so it is pi by plus pi by eleven. And we have seen added to inverse of zero is zero. Okay, so what is the answer? The answer of one is a four. The answer of two is a Three. Okay, the answer of three is uh, two. Answer of four is one. And answer of five is uh, six. Is that clear? So these are the answers. So in this way, today we discuss the addition of rational numbers. Okay, and its introduction. So this was the one small attempt from me to make the ideas clear about the rational numbers and its addition. Okay. So if you like this video, you can call me. On nine nine two two zero eight three three two two, if you have any difficulty, or you can WhatsApp me on the number seven three eight seven seven zero eight three three two, or you can visit on the website s t t p colon double slash m a t h s c l i n i c c o u n s c l i n g dot com slash or if you like this video kindly subscribe the youtube channel thank you